today we'll be infusing a laminate sheet and it'll be made up of seven layers, four layers of carbon and three layers of uh, sort to hold, uh, keep our weight down to a minimum. This is going to be a bulkhead for an uh, airplane and uh, we've got a layer of one by one, a one by three, one by three on opposing angle and uh, one by one again, peel ply on both sides and a two mil sort between. That's a copy of what we have laid up here. It's a 30 inch by 50 inch panel. And then this is our drainage field. And uh, we've got the feed in the middle. This would be to dump the resin in. We have our resin heated and uh, we've had this running all morning at uh, 27 inches of mercury. And as you can see, it's right height in the hose feeder hose has started to suck down, so I think we're good to go. and four liters of uh, resin. The space between the airline, just with peel ply, acted as a brake so that the resin travels out without uh, saturating the line and flooding the line with excess resin. Okay, now that it's been sitting with a heat blanket, we've had the reaction start to happen, and we're at 36 centigrade, oh, no, here we go, 49, 48 centigrade, so definitely we're, we're good to go. Almost 50. All right, here we are the next day, we're looking at our laminate, we've peeled all the vacuum bag, all the other garbage away, and uh, we're going to peel off the peel plug. So you get a beautiful bondable texture, secondary bonding. Um, and uh, we'll give it a tug, see what we come off with.
there's our lemon. No bubbles, no dry pockets, no bridging. That's the advantage of the infusion process.